Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to connect Microsoft SQL Server with Alteryx. So right here, this is the console of Alteryx. Now here, this is the SSMS. And here, there is the one database name Adam and these three tables are there. So I am going to disconnect here, connect it again. So this is the audit end. Here, database engine server name. Here, authentication you can use SQL Server authentication or Windows authentication. So, here, after the next is let's go and here you need to drag this input data. And after this, you need to click at this point and here, after go to data source and here. You can see all frequently used data source like Microsoft SQL Server and Oracle. And for other data source like Amazon, Athena, and here Azure, you, need, you can use uh, add here ODBC or OLETV. So let's uh, see about uh, Microsoft SQL Server. Click on Quick Connect. So when you Click on Quick Connect. You need to open this all detail. So connection name you can give any meaningful connection name. So giving at your test con. Test con. Now here local host. So add your host. So you can give your server name. Directly copy from here. Or if you don't know about the server name, so at this place you can give local host or you can just write this. So this is the host. So server name is the host. Now here I'm first I'm going to use SQL Server authentication. So user that I'm going to connect with the SA and give the password. Now click on connect. So it's uh, connected successfully. And this database and this three is our table. So username that is SA and give the correct password. Now after filling this, you need to click on test. So here connection was successful. Click on OK. Now you can select to master. Whatever data this you want, you can select. So I'm selecting our uh, Adam database. Now here after click on OK. And here you need to select the tables. So add here going to select department tables. And here, so here this is department. Two. Let's make that bigger. And here. Bigger, bigger. So I selected all this all columns, and when you select here, uh, we have different option. You can use aggregate function, and here this is group by. You can make that here. You can do the sorting here. Sort tab column. So this video I am going to simply discuss how to connect. Now here after click on OK. So it's uh, successfully connected. Now here after I am going to check. So let's uh, drag output data. Now here this is the input and here this is the output. Now uh, for output uh, data. So you can use add here data source gallery. So let's uh, select the distant files. So here I'm going to use CSV files. And here giving Artrex. Artrex file 1. So this is the tab CSV. Now here after click on save. Now let's uh, check that. What, uh, so 
distance there is no any error here after what you need to do control as to save so if you want to save so you can save anywhere document uh, so let's uh, uh, save on the desktop and here going to save on main now this is this has been saved and here after I want to uh, load the records so I file one now here you can run the workflow so I have finished running new workflow 10 second time it has taken and here this order done you can see here the 24 rows were and here affected now I want to see the record so here then I just went on file and here alter csv right click on it and here after you can see open with and here going to use notepad so this is the record successfully loaded and the file is created with the name alter csv so this is the way we can connect to now here also I am going to show you another way to connect so here input data select this data source here click connect after click connect now here test com one so you can give any meaningful name of the connection so using and here i was used to connection and here i was used to this uh, for host now this time going to use local host so you can give or local host or you can give uh, this or server name or if you if you want then you can give your IP address also so I used SQL server now I'm going to use Windows authentication so you need to fill this this now click on test connection was successful now choose the database click on OK and here so since I used uh, departments now let's use the uh, idea tab one double click on tab one and here select all now ok so here you can see all the details and this uh, idea there is no any problem with so it's uh, successfully connected now here if I go on the properties so you can see this all those things so this is the way we can connect to Microsoft SQL Server with Artrex so I hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week